it's proven to be quite an effective sustainable fisheries mechanism as witnessed in different countries in the Pacific, um, fishers with small vessels as well as fishers with large vessels who conduct fishing in open waters and set out trawls or even drop lines. They've caught a lot of pelagic species, the tunas, mahi-mahi, dolphin fish, ocean gar and other billfish. So it's quite effective. Um, as I mentioned, it's sustainable fisheries where you don't use much fuel, fuel consumption is lowered because you have a set position for the fads. You don't have to search for fish in terms of food security again. It's a sure catch because you have a lot of schools of fish aggregating around the fads. So it's really effective overall for food security, um, fuel economy and environmental benefits of course. It takes pressure away from reef species over to the pelagic species. It marks the fulfillment of a commitment made by SIAP to the fisher folks in St. Patrick, which has been fulfilled today. Uh, one month ago, I had a meeting with the president of the St. Patrick Fishermen's Association and committed to ensuring that this FAD project is completed before the end of the year. In fact, today, we are seeing that coming into fruition at the 18th of December, uh, 2024. So we are certainly happy about that and we look forward to repeating this training program throughout every parish in Grenada, including Carrick and Piti Matthew. Some people from, from Dominica, the first teaching I get is some people from Dominica and then some people from um, down in, what do you call them, Levin? Ecuador. And then we became the teacher, teaching people from St. Lucia, um, Matnik, Guadeloupe, all done from in, in, in the, in the what do you call them, the Philippines? Uh, yeah, people come and go out with us and, and see we experience. We have fought in Grenville 15 years now. We have two in Grenville that past 15 years. And then we have that make a year, we have what makes six months. But we have two now that going on past 15 years. What is key is the, the fishers have to be key. Because if you, if you get a hook in, in here, like a hook stick in here, and you can't get it out you. Some people intend to cut it out, to, to, to force it out, and then it will just bruise a couple of the strand, and then that's a weak spot right there. So the fisherman have to know if I hook going, you just cut the living. I used to fish, uh, do tuna fishing, long lining. Yes, but it's always in my, it's my passion to, to do uh, bank fishing, and um, now with the fad common stream, I, I, I get interested in doing some fad fishing. Um, I have been fishing for over roughly 25 years. Yes, um, I have my own boat, per se, and um, I, I really enjoy this type of things. It's like part of my hobby. I love farming as well, but fishing, you know, over supersedes everything else. You know, so this, uh, this program here today, I, I really, you know, um, enjoy, I, I enjoy the moment right now. You know, um, because it's something I, I wanted to get to do for myself, like to prepare my own fad. And now having the first hand experience, yeah, thumbs up.